Step into the holiday spirit with Lumion's Christmas Asset Pack. What better way to spread the cheer than with a free giveaway? At the heart of this pack is our Advent Christmas Calendar. Every detail has been meticulously designed, from the candy cane to the wrapped presents. Inside each window, you'll find shimmering tree decorations that bring this festive miniature to life. You can download the Asset Pack at the link below. But let's go through how to create some of these for yourself. So let's jump into Rhino to cover creating backdrops first. So we start with a plain surface, where we have drawn out the sketch for our city backdrop, including windows. Let's use the split command to separate the line from the plane. And then delete the rest. Split again to separate the windows from the backdrop outline. We can now group the two items and set them to the correct layers. To have it facing the right way, we need to rotate it 90 degrees. In order to bend the plane into shape, we need a reference circle. Let's make one now. Once we have it in place, we can use the bend command for our backdrop. Just select the start and end points. After this, it's only a matter of assigning a material to the separate layers. A similar process was used to model a snowflake and the clouds in the scene. Here, we see how ensuring that the pivot point is correctly placed in the CAD software enables us to rotate this window around the insertion point. We already have a couple of animations, but we can take it up a notch. We will save a new camera position and add a slight zoom. Instead of the window just opening, let's make it look like it's a little stuck from the cold. To show it in action, we select the advanced move effect. Go to edit and choose our hero window we wish to animate. Add a few keyframes. Then use the heading slider for each keyframe to move it back and forth. With a big push at the end. For the other side, it's the same, but with slight variations to the angles. Quickly play it. That's great. So, if we want to make the animations pop a little more, let's check out the animated phasing effect. Let's disable the Windows layer here to make it easier to select. The presents are a nice starting point. Go to Add, select Objects, and choose the present box. Then, Set the duration, phasing effect style, and let's see what we have. Let's see what else we can do. Jump back to advanced move. Remember, we can do multiple actions here, moving, scaling, and rotating. The window here is set similar to our first. So let's make this camera shy snowman pull a vanishing act. We'll add a couple of keyframes, and reduce the scale to zero. Rotation to 180 degrees. Instead of the snowman, we need a new hero to take his place. This reindeer seems like a good fit. Here we do the reverse. Scale from zero to original size and 180 rotation at the same keyframe with small overlap so they line up. Again, to make it pop, let's add another keyframe for the over-eager reindeer here in the second frame, just changing the height slightly so it looks like he's jumping and rotating in.
And there you have it. With just a few simple steps, you've created a captivating 3D Christmas scene complete with animated elements. From all of us at Lumion, happy holidays and happy rendering.